things, friends. For many of us, the times we are currently experiencing will be the most difficult we've ever known. The general climate is one of uncertainty, fear, and stress. Most of us are confined to our homes. Many of the Dugway workforce are even teleworking from home. Some people are living with people they would rather not be living with, which can be bearable in normal conditions, but unbearable right now. Others are living alone and wondering how are they going to survive the weeks and weeks of near solitude. Many people are wondering whether they or their loved ones will fall sick, and if they do, whether they will come out the other side. So in these difficult times of uncertainty, when we are being denied much of what we have long taken for granted, how can we keep our sanity in check? I'd like to offer five things we can do to take care of ourselves and those with whom we love. First, we can take breaks from watching, reading, or listening to news stories. This includes social media. Hearing about the pandemic repeatedly can be upsetting. While we need to stay informed, this doesn't mean we should spend every minute of every day glued to the news feeds on our smartphones. Reading an overload of COVID-19 related stories is likely to be harmful to our mental health. Instead, use this period as an opportunity to read about other things in the media and to broaden your knowledge of the world more widely. For every coronavirus story that you read, challenge yourself to find two other stories that don't even mention the pandemic. That will help you to remind you that there's a world out there beyond the coronavirus, a world that we will all eventually return to. Second, we can do something we've always wanted to do or plan for it. This period could be an opportunity for you to do something you've always wanted to do. To go to school online, for example, or maybe learn Spanish using distance learning. If what you've always wanted to do is take a family trip, maybe now is the time to postpone that, but to make plans to do that, that family trip. Similarly, the current climate might not seem the ideal environment in which to start your own business, but that doesn't mean you can't start planning for it. Times like this are, are a reminder, friends, of our mortality, which is why we need to use these times as an opportunity to evaluate what we want from this life and to visualize a bright future for all of us. Third, we can take care of our bodies. Take deep breaths, stretch, meditate, or pray. Try praying the Lord's Prayer while you're washing your hands. Try to eat healthy, well-balanced meals. Exercise regularly. Get plenty of sleep. Avoid excessive use of alcohol. And then fourth, we can all make time to unwind. Try to do some activities you enjoy. My family has been enjoying movie nights, watching movies like Star Wars chronologically. And then fifth and finally, we can connect with others by talking with people that we trust about our concerns and our feelings. I'm available 24-7 via my cell phone. My phone number is 435-830-8929. I'm available and I'm confidential. Another way to connect, I have found, is through FaceTime. It's a great tool to visualize and talk to people face-to-face uh, -face over the phone. So friends, finally, what I'd like to say this morning to you, the best way to take care of ourselves and others is to practice social or physical distancing. This is the best practice that we can do to take care of ourselves and others. 
Friends, may God bless you and may God bless the United States of America.